And um, the NAACP is doing some great things here in our city. We are collaborating with several organizations. In addition to CAFE, we also collaborate with the League of Women Voters, and they have established an alliance of several organizations around the city. Community leaders have gotten together, and we do events from time to time. And I have invited the co-chair of the League of Women Voters of Southern New Mexico. Her name is Eileen Bambi, and she's a retired educator, co-chair of the League of Women Voters, and a member of the Donna Anna County NAACP. And she is here today, and I'm so grateful for the collaboration. She works hard, and we have been working together, and I'm very proud of the relationship. This is Eileen Bambi. Thank you, Dr. Green. Martin Luther King's principles of nonviolence are as important today as they were in the 1960s. In searching the internet for what those principles were, different sites indicated different language and sequences for them. So the following comments will address the goal of nonviolence is reconciliation. In thinking about the meaning of the word reconciliation, to restore friendly relations, to remove from to move from separation and hurt to healing and peace, it seems important to acknowledge the long history of injustice and to work toward friendship and understanding. This work requires us to work together to seek ways of healing. There is too much violence in our city, state, nation, and world, which makes partnerships for civil rights action critical. Celebrating King's birthday here in Las Cruces as a federal holiday is such an action. It gives us opportunity to be reminded of how the actions of an individual can influence healing for the nation. On the Boston Commons in Massachusetts, a 22-foot bronze sculpture, a new memorial to Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King, called The Embrace, was unveiled just a few days ago. The artist, Hank Will Willis Thomas, was inspired by the photo of the kings taken when they heard that Martin Luther had received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. The sculpture recognizes the important role Coretta played in the reconciliation process. She not only worked beside him after he was assassinated, she took the lead to continue his nonviolent principles and worked for 15 years to get his birthday, January 15th, as a federal holiday. Let's continue to find occasions to honor and encourage healing and peace. One way to do that is to give financial support to organizations that promote nonviolence, such as the NAAC, NAACP, but also the New Mexicans to Prevent Gun Violence. The New Mexicans to Prevent Gun Violence regularly comes to Las Cruces with their gun buyback program. Some of the many guns collected are converted to garden tools and can be purchased on their website. They distribute thousands of free gun locks and make presentations about ways to prevent gun violence. Another way to encourage healing and peace is to advocate for proposed relevant New Mexico legislation. Our legislature, as was said earlier, begins on Tuesday. And their website, nmlegis.gov, gives lots of information. There will be several gun safety proposals to watch and advocate for. And there will also be some voter uh, rights legislation that we can watch for right here through our, uh, our webinar. We can watch what's going on. There are times when we need to resist boycott and protest, as, as already has been said, as a way to hold people and groups who use violence accountable for their hurtful and hateful actions. In today's world, it becomes complex since violent groups often show up at peaceful protests. When that happens, it's important to not interact with them. It's also important for police officers to be trained and to develop strong relationships with the community. Police need to support and protect nonviolent and peaceful protests. There needs to be relationships of trust and transparency built between the police and the community. Community partners working together to prevent violence in ongoing ways are essential. 
Community groups like the NAACP can and do articulate non-violent -ex non expectations and resources needed. Communities need to address social, economic, political, and health needs of residents. It is especially important for all educators and educational institutions at all levels to include specific violence prevention in the curriculum, especially the health curriculum. Educational programs and environments that emphasize developing self-esteem, healthy sexuality, problem solving, conflict resolution, respect, social and emotional learning lead to reconciliation and safer communities. There are no easy solutions to reach reconciliation and peace, but gathering in the embrace of the kings can help us move forward on one of their goals to create a beloved community, inclusive and interdependent on one another. We all have a responsibility to do what we can using nonviolence to defeat injustice and promote reconciliation. Thank you.